Then Dash reveals that Jay-Z never won the Kanye West signed. Then Dash, the co-founder of Rockefeller Records, has recently made some shocking revelations about the signing of Kanye West to the label in the early 2000s seconds. In an Instagram live session, Dane claimed that he had to fight with Jay-Z and Lyra Cohen, the former head of Def Jam, to get Kanye on board. He said that they did not see Kanye as a rapper, but only as a producer, and did not want him to release his own music. Dane said, I almost couldn't sign Kanai. I had to get a vote. I had to fight to put Kanai out. I had to fight Liar and Jay-Z. They didn't want that man to come out. He added that he was frustrated by having to struggle to put out artists that he believed in, such as Jay-Z, Cameron, Rachel Roy, and Kanai. He said, so the point was, I was like, you, I'm not going to be in a place where I got a fight to put that man out. The same way I had to fight to put Jay out, fight to put Rachel Roy out, fight to put Cam out. Everything that I've ever had to put out has been against nerds telling me not to put it out. Dane's statement contradicts Jay-Z's version of the story, which he shared in a 2009 interview with 50. Jay-Z denied that he was opposed to signing Kanai and said that they all agreed to sign him as a producer, but also as a rapper to keep his beats in-house. He said, let's first clear this thing about Dame and Kanai and all of us. We all had a conversation about Kanai and whether to sign him. No one knew what would become of Kanai. Not Dame, not me, not Biggs. So we all sat down and said, let's at least sign so we can keep the tracks in house. It's only good business. And Dame said, we can put Beans and Cam, surround him and make this type of album. I wasn't saying don't sign Kanai. I was saying, at least keep the beats in house, if anything. However, it is widely believed that Rockefeller and Def Jam only signed Kanai as a rapper to prevent him from joining another label and losing his production services. Kanai himself has admitted that he felt like he was not taken seriously as a rapper by his lib mates at first, and that he had to prove himself with his debut album The College Dropout, which was released in 2004. Dame and Jay-Z have had a rocky relationship since the breakup of Rockefeller in 2005, which was partly caused by their disagreement over the direction of the label and their artists. Dame has recently expressed his desire to reconcile with Jay-Z, but also criticized his moral choices and business practices. He said, there's things, and I don't want to get into it, that morally I can't be a part of. But if could just shed all the things that I don't like morally, and all the people who have done things and are doing things that morally I can't fuck with, we could fuck with just family. Kanye West has also commented on the feud between his mentors, and said that he sided with Jay-Z over Dame Dash because he felt more comfortable with his style of leadership. He said, the problem was with Dame, his truth was more accurate and more closer to what mine was, but his technique was harsh for me as a young kid and stuff. The signing of Kanye West to Rockefeller Records is one of the most pivotal moments in hip-hop history, as it launched the career of one of the most influential and controversial artists of all time. It also exposed the tensions and conflicts within the label that eventually led to its demise. Dame Dash's recent claims shed more light on the behind-the-scenes drama that shaped the fate of Rockefeller and its artists.